All right, there, folks. Uh, a couple of guys were talking about coil and K funds and how to work them, etc. So I'm just going to show you the way I do it. Uh, might not be the correct way, but it certainly works for me. So all you need is your K fund base, obviously. Uh, I'm using a two mil drill bit and some 0.35 canthal wire. So I'm looking. Well, I prefer around 1 ohm, between 1 ohm and 1.2 ohms for my k on build, so I think if I do, what, 9 wraps around this drill bit, I should shoot for about 1 ohm. There's a good, uh, there's a good site I can leave a link to, it's called Coil Toy, even if you google that you'll find it, and you just simply put in what drill bit you're using in your wire what resistance you want and it'll tell you how many wraps this says nine so I want to leave a little tail because I'm going to be using that later on so I take my first wrap from here one two three four five six seven eight nine now don't worry if it looks like that We'll sort that in a wee minute. So, what I like to do is pull on this end lead tight so it goes and straightens itself out. And you'll notice how I've got a lead that's kind of wrapped around here a bit. I'll undo that one. See how it's got a buckle in it? I'll take my pliers again and pull tight, strain it out, and as you can hopefully see, there's the beginning of a microcoil. Now, don't worry that it looks a mess, it's just because I'm not doing it on camera, but you'll see when you squeeze them together, they'll be almost touching. So the method I like to use for that is using a, a torch, much like that, and a pair of tweezers, these are ceramic tipped ones. So I'll go and squeeze them together, I'll give it a quick torch. that cools down should be a fairly decent micro coil so what I like to do is place it down on top of that air tube so you can something to grip around and then just take your wire round one and pull it tight like so once you've got it tight Keep your finger on it and just tighten the connection down like so. You can move that out the, the way just now. Take your other connection or lead, sorry. Same again, wrap it round, try and hold it tight because you don't want it to move. and tight. To move those leads out the road. Now obviously this is still touching the base so you just want to lift it up slightly and align it so it's perfectly over the air tube. Give that a wee squeeze. Make sure it's not touching obviously because you've got a positive on one side and a negative on the other you don't want this wire here to be touching any of that other side etc you 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 know what I mean so I'll see what resistance we're looking at here 1.1 quite happy with that might go down once we heat it up 
so I don't tend to wiggle the wire and cut it I prefer just to cut it straight as close as I can the connection I find sometimes if you wiggle it it comes loose and then you need to recoil it so that's looking not too bad right I've just stuck it on to the vapor shark Let's see what it's reading 1.1 ohm the same when you fire in 4.1 volts at almost 15 watts so let's have a little fire and see if we can tidy things up give it a couple of pulses get it nice and hot and take your tweezers and squeeze together not overly tight but just tight enough and let it cool down for a wee second or two right so I've just got some organic cotton wool what I'm going to whack the cave on with so you want to take off a pinch and then just keep stripping off until you think it's going to be enough now give it a roll not too tight but tight tight at one end and kind of loose at the other end Oops. like so just so you can insert it through and then as you're pulling give this end a twist like so and you, you don't want it tight you just want it so it can move slightly like so and you could go in obviously that's too long so you can take it down slightly again so now I'm in line with this piece cutting away now you can see what's going on here before I do anything I'll put some juice onto it just to make it easier to stick so just get it juiced up so as I'm putting juice on it I'm kind of pushing it up against the sides these side walls here you'll see what I mean in a minute so see how it's pushed up against this wall and it's completely free from the juice channel so the juice is going to come up as you suck in it's going to be the juice is going to get pulled up here come to here and be absorbed up the way just make sure you're happy with the way it's sitting and then you can give it a fire the chimney piece in and make sure you've not upset your wick you want it like you left it so there's a gap to where the juice channels are you don't want to block that then you pack it in tight or anything like that or it'll just not work right so once you're happy with that you can then put your chimney hat on as I call it screw it in and that's you right here's the setup I'm going with it's just a regular k fun setup I do have nano tanks and the glass quartz tanks and all that but that's just a basic k fun setup I think it's v k fun V2 by Tobacco anyway you set the coil up I just need to fill it with juice so unscrew it from your mod now people fill them up from the top
but I've not had a great experience with that. I find it will leak and gurgle for ages and I've just basically started filling it from the bottom now. Like like you're supposed to I guess. Why would they bother putting that there if you're not meant to? So take your fill plug out. Take your juice. I'm using some killer custard. Hold it at an angle. And then you can fill needle and ball isn't a great fit. Anyway, I'll normally fill up, so then you've got that little air bubble sitting there. You can take your fill plug. Screw that back in. Just wipe up my mess here. You can see there's air bubbles coming already. That's that's a good sign. And you turn it up. See there was an air bubble. Air bubble. That generally means it's wicking correctly, or the, it's feeding the juice in correctly. And as you can see, there's no juice coming out the air hole. And hopefully, if I take a toot on this, it shouldn't gurgle. Perfect. So then you can screw it back on your mod and give it a vape. Right, and that's how I wick and coil my cave on. So vape. Hope that helps the guys that were asking questions on how to wick and coil the cave one correctly. As I said, it works for me and it has done for months and months or whenever I started using the cave one.